Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my experience with mixandmatchbox.com. But this is just part one because I've decided that during Vlogist I'm going to be getting some style boxes and then putting my money where my mouth is and seeing if I really can find similar pieces that I like as much or more from places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Arts and Rack. The follow-up video will be coming on Tuesday. Be sure you're following me on Instagram. I can't always get things posted on YouTube in time to get your feedback, but I can put them up on Instagram. So keep checking my Instagram story. And I've had lots of fun polls and stuff going on over there. It's been a lot of fun. I really wanted to like mix and match box. I've seen several YouTubers, um, Tisha and Southern Yankee, both seem to get great, great stuff from them that just really suits their personality, looks great on them. Prices are very reasonable, at least compared to places like Stitch Fix and Transcend. I wanted to love it. It just didn't. Not really their fault. It's just a couple things kind of didn't go right. Probably just a weird, quirky thing that happened to my specific box, but when I opened it, it smelled awful. And I actually mentioned that to my stylist because you email back and forth with your stylist. And she said she's never heard that before. I believe her. She mentioned that she thought it could have come from the UPS truck. The smell was in the clothing. It was not in the box. You know, you like smell something, you know you've smelled it before. And I asked my daughter, like, what does this smell like? And she said Rennie's. And if you've ever been discount shopping in Maine, there's this chain of stores there called Rennie's that buys like what TJ Maxx can't sell. I mean, it's really old clothes. What you're looking for in Maine, who cares if your khaki shorts are five years old. I've gotten some great deals there. It has this kind of sitting around smell, but it's also like a chemical smell. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. That colored my impression of the whole box. I will be honest. Prices were great. There were six dresses in the box. The most expensive was $65. The least expensive was 40 there was one that was 50 and three were $45. I paid a $5 styling fee. If you agree to get three boxes, they'll reduce your styling fee to $5. If you keep going with it, your styling fee will stay $5. At the end, we'll talk about what happened with me. My stylist was named Dana. I highly recommend her. She was very responsive. I think she did her best. I don't think their clothing suits me. This is the most expensive dress in the box. It's a heavyweight. Feels like linen. I think it's cotton. So this is called the Gilly Black Mini Dress featuring a sleeveless v-neck button-down center. It is 92% rayon, 8% polyester, hand wash with cold water, do not bleach, color separate, hang or line dry. She sent this in a small, which is my fault because I accidentally had my bra size in wrong. I had B and I'm a D. I'm a small in most things, but anything that's gonna button in front like that, I need to size up. You can't really see the gap in the try-on because it's black. In person, you can see it. it. Fit me really funny too. My waist is not smaller than my waist, but it hits my rib cage, so it's very hard to button. Just it pulls my rib cage, and I don't feel like I can breathe. Also, don't like look good in black. I don't like black. I know people think of it black as like the universally flattering color, but. I'm an autumn when you first take your color me beautiful test in the 80s when I did. We're one group of people that should not really wear black or you need to have, you need to really be accessorizing or doing a lot of makeup to make up for it. Truffle hem is kind of cute the way it scoops down. This dress was just too much dress for me. It's too small, but it's too much dress. I could ask if they have a size up, but I didn't like the look of it enough to want to think about sizing it up. This one's also Gilly. It's called Coral. I would call it orange. It's gonna look weird on the screen. The Gilly Coral V-neck shirt dress with button-up closure, size small, 100% cotton. I would definitely need to size up in this. It is too short. I don't like the sleeves. I don't like anything about it. And it's too short. She mentioned that she picked it out because I like orange. Or I, I think I gave her my color profile. And orange is on there. I don't know that I specifically... I do own some orange. Own enough. I actually just bought an orange dress. Kelly Schaffner had gotten that dress from a trunk club, I think. I think it was an anniversary sale item. She paid 50 for it. it I paid 25 And I got a coral color, which I really like. That was pretty orangey too. And that's a great cut on me and it's super easy to wear. This dress, it's just not my thing. Let's do the ones that she picked first and then I'm going to do the ones that I think I pinned last. 
This one actually did really, I spoiler alert, but it did really well on the Instagram poll, but it is, uh, it, I, I'm going to say I wish you could touch it, but I don't wish that on anybody. It is this polyester stretchy. This is like Midwestern yard sale fabric. It looks much better on camera than it does in person. And I'm going to put it down now because I don't like touching it. It is polyester like the double knit scratchy weird it's just no it's a great cut i'm not personally wild about the print i like some florals not others that one's not grabbing me but that fabric is a deal killer it's too bad it's too bad because it is a nice cut that was a gilly navy floral dress and it is 45 dollars. this dress pulling it out of the box i couldn't figure it out almost because it's so long. The belt is actually buttoned in so the waist is in like a fixed spot. If we were going straight down, the waist would hit me like that's actually my hip joint. Just a very blousey. It's a dolman, right? It's got a little extra thing going on there. I think I pinned this. I do like black and white stripes. I'm not sure about the going all the different directions. And then when you add the going all the different directions to the like blousiness of it, I frankly don't get it. This looks like a t-shirt dress and you can get a really nice t-shirt dress from Amazon for $18. Daily Ritual brand. It's Laylee brand, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's $50. It is made in the US. It's a soft, nice piece of material. It is 89% rayon, 9% polyester, 2% spandex, hand wash, dry flat. Her dress is casual. I don't know that I'm dying for like something that needs to be hand washed. It is really soft. Like I'm actually enjoying holding onto it. So if that's your thing and you don't mind hand washing clothes and you like a blousier fit on top, I'm bigger on top than on the bottom. So that kind of overemphasizes that. I don't love it. It's $50. I feel like that's high for how this comes out looking, which is a t-shirt dress. Overall, the prices I think are good. The last two dresses are polka dotted and I'm sure I pinned them both. I think Southern Yankee got this one. It's basically the same fabric as the blue floral one. It did really well in the Instagram showdown. Gilly black A-line dress featuring a scoop neck bodice with cap sleeves, waist seam, keyhole detail at center back, and a polka dot print fabric. And that's in a small and it, that fits fine. The fabric though, um, it's the same polyester double knit type stuff as the floral dress and I'm sorry, I can't keep touching it. I'm sorry, it looks cute on, it really does. I just can't. This one, which I know I also pinned, is another polka dotted dress by First Love. It is a different polyester, it is 100% polyester. I have a lot of shirts that are like, you know, the woven polyester, like nice fine gauge of it and it doesn't bother me too much. You don't wanna wear it on a super hot day can't see it on camera, I'm sure. It has like a bumpy texture to it, which feels a little weird to me. Fabric is maybe not a deal killer. It's too low. I don't go anywhere where anybody needs to see quite that much Veronica. I asked for this. She found it. That was nice. I guess I didn't realize. Sometimes maybe, maybe the model was built differently. Maybe she was pulling around differently. The other thing that I didn't like about this is it's a true wrap. These little th strings staying tied together is the only thing keeping me dressed. It feels a little insecure. Maybe I'm a little insecure. I don't even think it looks bad. It's just too much me. I think my stylist did the best she could with what I gave her. Like I said, her name is Dana. She was super responsive. When I told her that I was going to be sending everything back, we had a little chat about where to go from there. She decided to release me from the next two months because I'm probably going to be wasting her time. I only need so many polyester dresses and that's a lot of what they carry. They have a lot of Liverpool jeans too. I don't pay full price for those though. I'm like preternaturally good at finding temporary deals on Amazon on name brand jeans. I've gotten two pair of Liverpool jeans this summer. One was 24 was 20. So it's just not in me to pay the real price. And I actually honestly think that Liverpool denim is a good value. They're typically around 78 to 88 dollars and the cut works really well and they to me feel every bit as good as the higher end brands that I tried 
through line and post. They're a good value at the price. I'm cheapskate and I know how to get them cheaper. I also need more jeans, like I need a hole in my head. I don't need to waste their time. I am happy I tried it. I've now seen it in person. I have no FOMO, but mix and match box. It's just not for me. Hope you'll come back on Tuesday to see what I did in Marshalls looking for similar-ish pieces. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe below. See you tomorrow.